breaking news out of Lincoln. This one was shocking. Florida offensive line transfer Micah Mazuka has officially committed to play for Nebraska and Matt Rule in 2024. So in this video, we're going to break down what this means for the Cornhuskers offense, offensive line, and everything else in between. So real quick, if you like the content, please hit the like button on this video along with subscribing to the channel. We've had 20 straight days of 20 Husker videos and we're only getting started. But let's get into Micah Mazuka. So this was shocking. He officially committed on Twitter at about 1230 today. And to put some perspective into this, nobody even knew that Nebraska was recruiting him. He never reported an offer. He never went on an official visit here. He entered the transfer portal at, in about mid-December and nobody even knew Matt Rule was going after him. Uh, to put even more perspective, this is a guy who started 11 out of the 12 games for Florida this year at right guard and was one of their better guards, one of the one of their better offensive linemen in general. He was reported from one of their offensive line coaches as being just a straight dog. He's listed at 6'5", 330, a straight brawler. And he was previously at Baylor. He started most of the games there as well. Was really, really touted transfer. And Nebraska was actually going after him last offseason. I remember making the video basically hyping him up. And for a while, it looked like he was going to be a Nebraska Cornhusker. But basically at the last second, he committed to Florida. And a lot of people insinuated that it was probably an NIL deal. But basically really, really shocking that he committed there in the first place. Then enters the, tr the transfer portal and comes here this year. So man, this is a this is a big big get. It should be noted he only has one year of eligibility left. He was a senior this past year and he's using his COVID eligibility to get another opportunity. But this is a big addition to this offensive line. This offensive line, yes, has it been improved for the Nebraska Cornhuskers? Yes, it has. But is it a top? 50% unit in Power 5 football? No. And that's where it needs to be in order for the Cornhuskers to get back to a bowl game. Uh, especially, that's not even where we want to be at this point. We want to be a nine-win team. We want to be a team that's on top of the Big Ten, especially with Duran Iola. And that brings me to my second point on why this is big. Everyone's been talking, oh, Nebraska got this wide receiver from the portal. Oh, this running back from the portal. Oh, we're looking to get another wide receiver, right? And that's all fine and dandy, but you need to renovate your offensive line, defensive line, because that's how you're going to get this program back is establishing it from the pipeline, especially when you have a young quarterback who's going to start as a true freshman. You cannot have him under fire. When he is getting pressured every single snap and getting dropped to the ground, right, that's going to build bad tendencies. You see it all the time in the NFL. So you need to develop this O-line. This O-line wasn't as good. Um, it wouldn't be very good if we didn't add anybody to it. You needed to add at least one or two pieces, and that's exactly what you're doing with Micah Ma Mazuka. He's a guy who has experience, has veteran leadership that Florida noted, uh, especially with their offense coordinator and offensive line coach. He said, this is a guy who's a straight leader. He's a straight dog. And that's exactly what Matt Rule's looking to add. So, man, just really shocking news. I am so excited to add him uh, to this offensive line. You, you needed this. You needed this, especially when you lost Norda Newelli, who was a very, very good guard for you for the last couple of years. He graduated. You had a hole there to fill. You fill that with Micah Mazuka, and he is going to be a very, very productive player for Nebraska. Just shocking news in general, man. Nobody was expecting this. It was one he just committed out of the blue through Twitter, and uh, we're looking forward to having him in 2024. It is unknown whether or not he is going to be a walk-on or a scholarship player. I would basically 99% sure he's a 90, uh, scholarship player. He's deserving of a scholarship, but just want to put that out there. It's not been determined yet, but he will likely be a scholarship player. So, man, let me know what you think about this commitment down below. Are you are you excited? Who are you looking for next? And everything else in between. I'm sorry, some snow just fell. I'm recording this in my car, but as always, folks, go Big Red, go Met Rule, and see you next one.